So in last video we checked how to connect your DBU with your VFDs. Uh, today I am going to show you how to connect multiple video uh, DBUs uh, in your VFD if you have a single VFD and uh, regeneration is uh, high so you might need to connect multiple DBUs in your VFDs. So basic is uh, same you have to connect minus to minus and plus to plus plus 3 to the plus of uh, both DBUs. So you will have to uh, take out uh, uh, two cables from here make parallel connection to both the DBUs. That is you connect the minus to minus of this DBU and an, another cable from this minus to this minus of DBU and one cable from plus 3 to plus of this DBU and uh, one cable from plus 3 to plus 3 of this DBU. So then what how we have to make sure that uh, your connection is uh, done and like how to make one DBU as master and second as slave that is what I am going to show you. So in the master let us assume this is your master DBU ok. So in master DBU we have to connect your out one cable from here this DB out one cable you have to connect to the in one cable of your slave and from uh, master the out two you have to connect to uh, in two of the slave. So now this will be connected to this through the terminals and uh, these both will be synchronized one will act as master and second will act as slave. So uh, after your wiring is completed you just have to make sure that dip switch setting is right. So here we have this S2 dip switch. So S2 you can see S2 is there and it's mentioned in and out. So for the master DBU it should be in default only. It's uh, downside the dip switch is, in, uh, is towards the terminal only. So keep it in out only and for slave you have to change the dip switch setting you have to bring it to in. So you have to just uh, from here you, you can simply slide the dip switch up. I am having a slightly bigger uh, this uh, screwdriver so it won't happen by this but you can use a, a, your liner and simply slide it up. So you, you put it on in. So after this your setting will be complete. So simply just to conclude just to conclude it I will uh, tell you like what we have to do we have to connect both the power windings as it was we have to connect minus to minus of both the DBUs and plus 3 to plus of both the DBUs and then connect out of master to the in terminals of slave DBU and then we have to dip, change the dip switching uh, dip switch setting of slave DBU to in in place of out that way your DBUs are all set it's connected in master slave and just make sure that you are connecting this way when you are connecting multiple DBUs in a shower so if you have to add more details you can keep on adding.